Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Quick little tip, or whatever you want to call it, on bell pepper boats. Yeah, I'm wearing the frog tog. It's a cooling cloth. I'm inside. It's still, the humidity's crazy. Got the air conditioner going. Still having a little bit of humidity problems. So, I'm staying cool. This keeps me from just feeling like I'm overheating. Hot flashes and all. So let me show you my bell pepper boats. These are the purple bell peppers that I got from the You Pick em place. I put them in the fridge for a few days, and as you can see, they're starting to be a little more purple than they were. But what I did, I cut them in half this way, if you can see, and I made a boat. And what I usually do, instead of having bell peppers that stand up this way and won't stand and want to fall over, I cut them in half this way, make a boat, I fill it full of my uh, bell pepper seasoning like uh, I used ground meat that I had canned, I used salsa that I'd canned, and I used quinoa. And I mixed it up, made a little seasoning pack and add to it, put it in here with, and it, it's awesome. I bake it, I don't know, 30 minutes, something like that. Pretty awesome. This is the purple bell peppers, and we are saving seeds, so I've got them stretched out for Danny to um, test later to see if we are going to be able to grow purple bell peppers from these seeds, and if so, we will offer them next year on our Etsy store. But I also did the green bell peppers, uh, a few red bell peppers, and some yellow gypsy peppers, which are yellow and orange colors, and I made the boats with those also. This is a quick, easy way. It's easier for kids to handle, and no matter the size, even if they're the little bitty small ones, half this size, I did those too when my kids were little, and I would make those up, and it was just enough for a kid. So, just an idea on how to make a bell pepper boat out of any type bell peppers. Thank you from Crazy Days.